Gary here, packetbomb.com. Uh, someone emailed me on the email, you know, the email, and said, hey, here's two PCAPs. Uh, one is slower than the other. Can you help me figure out why? So I wrote back some notes, and they said, hey, thanks a lot for that. Could you expound on this thing? I was like, you know what? Let me do what I do best. So here's a hopefully quick video, but you know me. It won't be that quick that I wanted to send back to the guy. But hey, you know what? Maybe I'll just post it up on the private email list video playlist and everyone can check it out if they want so two the same client same server fetching the same file one slower than the other so you know me um this trial one is a slow one i'm going to click on before i look at anything else um which is probably not true i probably would look at some other stuff but here's the, the graph a uh, huge kind of flat spot here for almost four seconds, and then it's okay. So I'm, what I'm guessing is, since, you know, throughput is bytes over time, uh, flat spots are wasted time. So we're, we're curious about what this flat spot is. So we have through a handshake. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, initial RTT looks to be 328 milliseconds. Um, okay, and then we have a GET request. Now remember, uh, if you've seen my other videos, a while back I added orange for, when I was looking for delayed acts, I just left it in here. So anything over 190 milliseconds is colored orange. Anything with a push bit flag, a push bit flag, uh, push bit set is blue. And that's what we got. So we have a GET request. And then we have the acknowledgement come back. It's orange. What? Um, hold on a second. Let me reload this. Let me, because this is saying it's 1.9 seconds since, and I know none of that's true. This is just being annoying. Time display. Okay. So one and a half seconds for the act to come back. Uh, what? So that's the problem. And also, you know, a T so when a server receives a request, many times TCP will just acknowledge right away because TCP doesn't care anything about application data. It's just there to shuttle bits around, bytes around. And so it's like, hey, I got some data, let me acknowledge it. And then it'll wait for the application to come back with a response. But TCP will many times just send an empty ACK a naked act, is that what you call it? I don't know. Right away when it receives a request, and that's what it does. However, there's like several of them. And if you look, if you know, always, if you're looking at throughput problems, you, you want to have sequence number, next sequence number, and acknowledgement number columns. It's real easy to do. Just open up TCP, right click on sequence number, and do apply as column, and do it for, uh, hmm, let me click on one that actually has it. Sequence number, next sequence number, acknowledgement number. Okay, so what you know is that it sent 750 bytes of data in the TCP payload. Uh, sequence number is 6506, and so the next sequence number should be 7256. So that means the acknowledgement number should also be 7256. However, it's 7253, and then 7254, and then 7255, and then 7256. So what appears to have happened is something somewhere took the client's request, took this packet, and chopped off the last three bytes and put each of them in separate payloads, in separate packets, so that the first one the server received was three bytes short. Actually, the next sequence number would have been 7253, and so it sent back as an acknowledgement number 7253 and then the server received a one byte packet and so acknowledged 7254 it received another one byte packet 7255 and then another one byte packet 7256 that's not normal if you saw my very first case study case case study video about the slow websites there was a um like a content filter that was chopping some stuff up just weirdly so this is not normal. There's something doing this. It could be something on the client itself. It could be you know, like a NIC card or some software, or it could be something 
in the network, like, like an IPS or a, a content filter, something. Um, the fact that it's chopping it up is weird. It's not necessarily a problem. However, the fact that there's a 1.5 second delay for the very first act to come back tells me that whatever chopped it up probably held this up. And I don't like it. So now I don't even trust this initial round trip time of 328 milliseconds. Something is messing with packets. Uh, I don't know if it's going to mess with the handshake or not. If it only messes with application payloads, I don't know. I don't, but I don't trust this initial round trip time. So this is a red flag. And then it what, finally, when it acknowledges all the data, it sends the server response and it's 479 milliseconds after the acknowledgement. So that's kind of, that's a long time too. That's almost half a second. So we've got like um, two seconds up here at the top of delay. So if you click on this response and you open the HTTP header and then you go down to time since request, two seconds. That's a long time. So there's part of the flat spot right there. Now, if we start scrolling down, we can see that our data is rolling in data, data, ACK, data, data, ACK. And because, you know, this is the client side, you never really get bytes and flight up very high because, you know, the client is responding to the data it receives immediately. So TCP acknowledges every other packet. So this is all fine from the client's perspective, right? And we scroll down, we scroll down, we scroll, whoa, no. Oh God, this does not look good. Um, zero window. Zero window means the receive buffer on the client is full and it can't take no more data. So it's up to the application to clear out the receive buffer. The application in this, in this instance should be the web browser. The web browser should be taking data out of the receive buffer in a timely manner. And if it doesn't, the receive buffer fills up. So if you were to say, um, let's do a quick filter on the source address here of the client. Uh, apply as filter selected. Let's scroll up. You can see that it's receive window. That's what this column is here. It starts out at 64,380 and pretty quickly it starts, it starts decreasing and it just drops and drops and drops and drops. So early on it whatever had a problem. I, I, and, and honestly, I don't have a lot of experience doing finding root cause for zero windows. I just know it's the client's problem. So the web browser hung up, the web browser is a piece of shit. Uh, the PC is a piece of shit. The memory is a piece of shit. Pieces. The disk is a piece of shit. I don't know. I mean, there's something on the client that is a piece of shit. So this could be software related. It could be latency. Who knows? But it does clear up. Hallelujah. Here. And then we continue on. So, but while we're in a zero window condition, nothing's happening because we can't receive more data. So if we set a time reference here, right click, set time reference, uh, change our time display to seconds percent beginning of capture, yes. And so what we did was we now have set this packet as time zero instead of the bin beginning of the capture. That's useful. Um, and then each packet after that is just the additive time since this point in time, right? So if we go down to the end of this little black and red and orange section, we'll see how much total time it, it added. So here, 3.6 seconds, 3.6 seconds of garbage. And then it continues on. So 3.6 uh, seconds plus what, two at the top, you know, that's like, several seconds, uh, like five or six seconds. Um, let's go back to the graph around this one. So we can see some stuff is happening in here, right? But not a lot. So it doesn't really get going until, you know, uh, between three and four seconds. So after we finally get all all that d stuff done, we, we, we go. And there's other places in here that's not great, but honestly, that's nothing compared to that. So you can zoom in here. You can see there's a little spot here. I'm not going to jump into all that right now. 
because I'm, we're looking for the big reasons, and that's a big reason. So now we have some stuff. Let's go over to the one that you know, didn't have, or is faster. We don't know how much faster it is, but it's faster. Um, and I want to know, do we have that weird act behavior at the beginning? Now, I see it right off the bat. We've got send retransmissions. So it takes like nine seconds to get the thing even established. Um, we don't know the RTT. You can't necessarily guarantee that the SYNAC is in response to the last SYN. It could be. We don't know. So if you try to do a delta there, which is you know right at 100 milliseconds, we don't know. This could be a SYNAC for any of these SYNs. We don't know. So RTT is sort of an unknown. Uh, we have the get request. And we see the same thing. The last three bytes chopped off, sent as separate packets. Weird. But if you look, it didn't take 1.5 seconds. It took 230 milliseconds for that first act to come back. So whatever is doing weird stuff with our get request, uh, it wasn't quite as slow this time. Instead of 1.5 seconds, it was only 230. And then the OK comes back, no delay. I mean, not really. Less than a millisecond instead of another what, 400, almost 500 milliseconds. So instead of two seconds at the beginning of from the get to the, uh, the get to the response, it's only like 230 milliseconds instead of two seconds. And then we want to know if we have any, um, you know, zero windows or flat spots. Let's just look at our graph. Yeah, no, it doesn't have a big flat spot. I mean, there's stuff in here we could probably dig into to maybe slightly understand what's going on, but in terms of the big reason, it's not there. Um, I wonder if there's any TCP zero window, though. TCP analysis, zero window. None. Okay. So that would be, I mean, other than this send retransmission at the top, which is like, eh. Um... I would say the two things here are there's something. Uh, oh, and by the way, I don't think I mentioned this, but if you look at the git request, there is a some cookies here about optimizely. I know it's like some A/B testing stuff. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it could be responsible for this weird because clearly you know, that stuff has to work at the application layer. But I don't know if it's responsible for this weird TCP layer stuff. Um, I don't know. It could be. I don't know how it works. And this UTMA stuff, I Googled it. It's actually Google Analytics. Um, you know, nothing real big there. I did pull this down myself. You can see the URIs here. And I did not have this weird pattern of stuff getting broken up. So I think it's something more on the client end. Either the client machine or something in the client's network. That's what I think. So that's it. Um, that's the that's the big delay here are these two things zero window and this weird delay from the get to the response hope that's helpful i'll put this up for other people to see it on the email list if you have things questions get back to me maybe i'll make a video for you too